Tonight, an unsolved mystery spanning 15 years with few answers. 21 year old John Thrasher disappeared from Livingston back in 2004. That's about 30 minutes from Cookville. That search even cost the life of a deputy, and now his family is hoping someone will hear their message. WBIR 10 News reporter Stephanie Haynes tells us more in tonight's Appalachian Unsolved. What was he like? He was athletic, tall, he was a good looking kid. Pretty much everybody that knew him liked him. He was an outgoing kid. Charles Thrasher remembers his kid brother fondly. He was always around me and I, he was little and I was already grown. One day, Charles got a terrible phone call. His dad told him John had been missing for three days. He uh, wasn't the type just to disappear. According to investigators, 21-year-old John Thrasher disappeared on August 14th, 2004. He was last seen at the Putnam County Fair. Charles thinks his brother never even made it there. I think uh, he was murdered and uh, dumped, buried. Uh, stories around here were sinkhole, you know, caves. Rumors swirled in the small community. He had been hanging around some people that he shouldn't have been hanging around. And the Overton County Sheriff's Department investigated each lead. All those leads and tips have been followed up on, uh, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, none have been fruitful. One lead was fatal. April the 6th of 2010, the Sheriff's Office had received some information concerning the possible whereabouts of Mr. Thrasher. The location that was given was a sinkhole. Deputy Chad Wesley Pritchard was with another deputy checking out the area. Got too close to the edge of the the hole and, and fell to the bottom where uh, when when rescue teams got to him, he, he was deceased. He says Deputy Pritchard is the only law enforcement officer to be killed in the line of duty in Overton County. It was devastating to the community and to the Thrasher family. Because now another young man has, has lost his life in, in the search for, for Mr. Thrasher, but we continue and will continue uh, to follow up on any and every lead that we possibly get. That's why John Thrasher is listed in NamUs, the National Missing and Unidentified Persons Database. It's hard to let this one roll by. This is Todd Matthews, the spokesperson for NamUs. For him, this one hits close to home. He grew up with the Thrashers. We solved some John Wayne Gacy cases. Why can't we solve this one? You know, why can't we put enough pressure on the community? Somebody knows something about John Matthew Thrasher. And Charles is hoping that after 15 years, someone comes forward. Someone telling where he was, you know, having enough of a conscience about them to come forth and tell where my brother is so there could be resolution for my family. In Livingston, Stephanie Haynes, WBIR 10 News. If you have any information, contact the Overton County Sheriff's Office at the number on your screen. It's also on our website, WBIR.com. The TSA says.